Constant here, and I was going to teach you guys how to ride bareback at a trot and just do some key things that you might want to think about when you are trotting your horse bareback. You don't just get on and go when it comes to bareback, you know. You gotta think about the horse. I mean, if the horse has never been ridden bareback, it probably doesn't have the back muscles to withhold you and withstand that. Um, the roughness as, as some bareback's can be. Some key things you want to think about, of course, is is your horse trained? I mean, if you're getting on a green horse that you know doesn't know bareback, you might be in for a little tougher ride. So key things you want to do when you're in a trot, you want to sit up so you can collect your balance. Like right now, I'm way more balanced than if I'm just doing this, you know? And I'm just like plunking along. And you're going to hold with your thighs and about, I wouldn't say, you don't hold with your calves because that can make horses go like faster or urge them on. Like depending too much on your lower half of your legs is not going to make your balance good up here. So you really want to work on your balance. You're going to use these muscles right here and you're going to sit straight up and you're just going to take it as it comes. Don't try and um, sit the trot like straight down. You really have to move your lower body in a forward motion, motion, like kind of like, I don't know, like that, I guess. So I'll just show you real quick and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. You're going to think about where her legs are and you're going to think about the next move they're going to make. All right, guys, so I came out here just because it's a larger space and you can see better. Remember when you get on, you want to hold with your knees and up. You don't want to hold with your lower half because you see a lot of bareback riders, they have their feet pointed like clear down. And it's the same when you usually ride, you want your heels down. And if you have your heels down while you're riding bareback, um, it's gonna provide more balance just because it's more natural and your muscles are going to remember that because bareback riding is similar to normal riding, obviously. Um, you just have to pick up a lot of your muscle memory. So, here we go. A lot of people bareback don't need to touch the legs until they really don't have to. So, you want to use your legs to kind of come to the degree of knowing how. Oh, Duncan! You can hold with your upper body. this muscle. I hate when I see people riding bareback and they're just plopping down on their horse's back and that's gonna hurt a back. Like how would you like somebody plopping down on your back? If I wouldn't like it then I'm not gonna do it to my horse. So if you are a really bad bareback rider I'd recommend a bareback pad because it really can save your horse's back. Right now I don't know where mine is and that's why I'm not using it but I do recommend if you want to go trail riding or something like that bareback, uh, just take into consideration what your horse is feeling when you're riding bareback because if you don't take in consideration, you might do something to get your butt thrown because everybody's like, oh, you know, bonding is so great with bareback. It's like, yeah, because you don't want to fall on your butt when you get on, like something like that. So upper half, this area right here takes a lot of muscle. You might be sore a couple times, but really worth it, huh, girl? 